Okay, so now we're going to talk about icons and uh, how to add them in Framer. So there's uh, a few different ways that uh, you can add uh, icons in Framer. The very first one uh, is going to be simply going under the insert panel and uh, you can see that under the elements we have this icon section which uh, allow us uh, to leverage some of the most uh, popular icon libraries out there. So, for example, if say that I'm using hero icons on a project, I can simply click on hero and uh, what you're going to notice is that we're not going to see any um, library and uh, with all the different icons that uh, hero gives us at uh, our disposal, but we're simply going to have one single icon which has been added in the file. Now, in order to change uh, the icon, uh, you have to go under the hero component section and uh, you can uh, effectively look uh, at uh, the list from here, which can be a bit uh, cumbersome. So what uh, I recommend you to do is uh, if uh, you're not sure which icon from the hero icon uh, library you want to use, uh, simply go on the official website and uh, keep it uh, at hand uh, in order to look at uh, icons. So for example, say that I want to uh, add an adjustment uh, horizontal, I can uh, essentially find it over here and then uh, I can either copy the SVG, so I could go here and simply copy it, uh, but uh, even better than that uh, is uh, to use uh, the component which uh, uh, I can uh, have right here and then I can simply look for the adjustments uh, vertical icon right uh, here. So it's uh, very simple, um, it really depends on your workflow. Some people, some designers like to uh, copy the SVG, maybe you're working on a Figma file with all of the icons and you can literally just copy and paste it uh, uh, directly from uh, from Figma to Framer or as you just seen from pretty much any resource uh, that allows you to copy the SVG. And um, on top of that, uh, there's uh, a few different uh, icon sets uh, which uh, are going to be quite uh, handy. So Feather is definitely one which I used uh, quite often uh, and uh, Google Material Design icon set uh, is uh, one which uh, is uh, extremely popular in the design community so I highly recommend you to check out uh, this uh, icon sets and uh, just play around with them and uh, you're also going to notice uh, right here that we have this uh, list and uh, uh, search uh, uh, option so you could search uh, for example over here I can look for arrow and um, bam, I can simply click on enter and uh, the icon uh, uh, which is relevant is going to appear. You can also ch select if it's mirrored or not. Uh, you can change the color. So pretty standard, pretty easy overall uh, to change these icons. And you can also change the style. So so that you're looking for other styles. In this specific instance, there isn't uh, any, but if the icon uh, library um, has uh, different styles uh, connected to it. Uh, you can easily just change it from there. And um, top of that, some uh, fun uh, icons uh, sets uh, or humans, for example, which allow you to, as the name suggests, uh, to create uh, different uh, uh, scenarios with different humans. Uh, so very, uh, very interesting uh, of an icon set. Uh, and again, you can go on the human website in order to see all of the options at your disposal and maybe you want to recreate uh, a specific uh, uh, human, uh, you can easily do that with uh, a more visual approach instead of uh, going through drop-down menus uh, all the time. So this is it when it comes to icon sets. Uh, I would like also to recommend you to um, icon uh, softwares which I use all the time. The first one is a noun project which uh, is uh, one of the most extensive uh, icon uh, libraries uh, on uh, the web. I use it uh, very extensively especially for times where I cannot find a specific icon uh, 
uh, in uh, <clears throat> most uh, icon sets or I need something which is more illustrative. So for example, if I look at the decorations, uh, I can uh, easily see here that there is uh, a lot of uh, icons uh, which are uh, very nuanced, they almost feel like uh, illustrations even more than icons. So this is uh, definitely an icon set which is uh, really useful in uh, certain specific uh, cases. So I can literally drag and drop it and as you can see we have this SVG of uh, this icon uh, which is uh, a bit uh, unusual compared to maybe some of the most uh, um, UI oriented icon sets. And uh, another one uh, which I use uh, quite often is uh, Nucleo. Now Nucleo is uh, awesome because uh, it's um, um, a, a software which allows you to add uh, different uh, icon libraries. Uh, so you have the Nucleo uh, free sample or there is also the premium one. Uh, and uh, you can have, for example, the Google material icons directly from here. So what, what I like about Nucleo is that it gives me a very visual approach. Uh, so if I, if I look for Arrow, uh, I can browse through all of these uh, in a very uh, easy way. I can also increase the size. Uh, and then once uh, I'm, uh, I found a specific icon, I can simply drag and drop it into the file. And um, yeah, the workflow is uh, extremely easy. And um, these are pretty much like my, my go-to when it comes to my icon set uh, approaches and workflow. And um, hope this video was helpful. We'll continue learning more about Framer in the next one.